Hello and welcome back to Cherry Hills. We have a little bit of a new episode here going on and we will be looking at something new in the uh, Cherry Hills area. So as um, you may have seen from previous episodes, we have been looking at new businesses that have moved into the area and uh, we have had uh, some honey farming come in, we've had orchards, we've had a brewery and a, uh, a dairy. And now we've got a, a new addition to the uh, Cherry Hills area with a bakery. The bakery has moved in and in, in the sort of concert with this, we have actually had an expansion at the flour mill to cope with essentially the new demands of the area so we're going to service um, this by basically uh, we're going to have to deliver some flour but we actually need to make the flour for the bakery uh, so we have to deliver the flour to the bakery and we're going to have to make it um, and to do that we need to make sure that the flour mill is running and has some uh, flour so our first test for today's episode is we're actually going to get the, uh, the, the the flour mill running with uh, some some supplies essentially. So I'm just going to uh, pop the hood on, and uh, we're going to get basically uh, take a, a grain truck up to the the, the flour mill, and uh, and we're going to basically get that sucker filled up and uh, have the uh, the flour mill produce us some flour so we can get on with uh, the bakery what we'll do is we'll actually take uh, this up to the flour mill and then we'll take a little trip up to the uh, location of the bakery and so we can check it out so this is the first phase of the bakery the bakery has big expansion plans um, but uh, their initial uh, sort of throw it into the local area is to supply bread and other bait and some other bread like goods and for that they need flour so we're going to basically take some barley up to the flour mill and we're going to drop that off and have the flour mill start producing us some flour now we as part of this expansion of the flour mill, they've actually sort of kept on with their existing business of you know taking some grain and making flour and selling it on site. But they've also been producing a second line of supplies, as it were, that will be there for local businesses. And this will be essentially a large supply of flour. We also need to take a, a trip to our orchards. I think we we'll probably need to uh, see if they need to be serviced as well. Um, because of course they've been producing fruit now uh, for a f for a couple of days, and uh, essentially they're going to need to be uh, loading, you know, getting rid of some of their uh, production stock that they're basically been doing ready for in advance of the uh, potential new businesses joining the the area. So we're uh, loading up here with. Uh, with a quite a hefty supply of uh, barley, which we're going to take up to the, the, the mill. Uh, we're going to literally take a high, uh, 200k up there uh, in sort of concert with this sort of new demand that the, 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 t the town has got. The flour mill has expanded its capacity, so it can essentially service the needs of the, uh, the new bakery with flour. So they're, they're actually going to be wanting a lot more grain than they used to. They used to only require a maximum of 150,000 litres. That's all they could process. And they would actually process it pretty quickly, but you know they, they could only process that. And essentially, uh, the, the new mill sort of expansion has resulted in them being able to take double that capacity so they can actually service the needs of the new business that's come into the town. So over the coming, uh, over the coming game days, the, the uh, the bakery will be expanding to produce new products such as um, the fabled cherry pie from Cherry Hills, uh, which we will be supplying them the cherries from our orchard. Um, we'll also be supplying them apples as well. 
So we've just got to let these guys basically get themselves settled in. You know, they're, they're a new business and they're starting out in the town, although they are an, a, an older business, but they are a new business in the town. So we uh, we have quite a, a dearth of grain. Um, we finished our rye harvest um, that we'd actually played down. We've uh, actually finished our potato harvest as well. Uh, that's That was completed yesterday. And uh, we've also completed um, our uh, corn harvest as well. So we've actually got um, all of our fields are empty. And we'll be needing uh, essentially some tending to to get them ready for the next harvest. And we will be doing some plowing and cultivating and so on. And we basically got everything sort of has to be sort of made ready for the next next set of harvests that go through the, uh, the the farm so here we are we're barreling down the hill pretty quickly actually we're closing on this little red hatchback or, or station wagon or whatever and we almost hit him then but you know we are barreling down uh, into Cherry Hills, probably breaking a few speed limits as we go. But hey, what you know, there are no there are no local police watching us, and you know we are a backbone of the town. Um, so we will be heading down to the flour mill. Um, we'll take a look around at the expansion, just see the changes that have occurred. Whoa, we have overshot the flour mill. Oops, um, we were really barreling down there. <laughs> um, that is, it's one of those junctions you just don't see until it's too late. So we will turn around here and we will head into the mill and do our drop off. So as you can see, there's some some uh, unsold pal, um, bags of flour there. Um, we might actually come and pick those up and uh, take them off. But what we're going to need to do is supply them with a some kind of forklift or tally handle or something like that so they can get on with uh, the production so what we're going to do is we're dropping all of this grain off and um, we can see here that they've to, to cope with the expanded demand they've installed a, a new pallet handler so that they can uh, handle a greater load of supply we've taken literally all of the grain that we've just uh, delivered and let's go and check on the uh, the status here to see how they're doing. And in fact, we've only filled their silos by 50%. So we could actually go and get another load. Um, and, when, and when we come back, we can essentially start on picking up fire. So this is bag of these bags of fire here. We'll actually probably come and take these off their hands and then take these up to the, the bakery. So the bakery has at least some flowers to start with. Um, they will probably need a lot more than than that to actually get going so we have to kind of let's take this back to the actual yard um, and uh, grab some more as it were and then we can actually probably come back with a, a pickup truck or something like that and then basically we can take a look up at the uh, site um, what we should probably do is we should acquire a uh, a loading truck, something so we can unload those pallets um, easily from the uh, conveyors there, so we can get them onto a lorry um, to take to the the, the uh, bakery. So, with that, let's just uh, so. So we've kind of uh, got a whole bunch of new businesses coming into the area. We say we have a we have a new bakery. The bakery will be sort of going through several phases of development, as it were, in order to uh, service and supply the local area. And the supermarket will be uh, consuming the goods that are basically being uh, supplied. And uh, we shall be running a little bit more sort of production that way so let's just head in here and we will fill up again 
and we'll take that back to the, uh, the flour mill. Um, what I'm actually thinking as well is let's get a, a pickup truck or something like that handy. And we'll use that to go and visit the flour mill. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll take the the, the Dodge um, Ram from the uh, the lumber yard with us um, because I think with that we can actually we can actually load up one pallet of of flour into the back and we can take that up to the de to the new bakery. So let's load this sucker up and uh, see what we can do. So we do actually have quite a lot of grain. Um, so we, we're not going to have any problems for supplying this uh, this bakery. Um, we do have, as I say, we have a lot of grain. We've got spelt, we've got millet, we've got barley. We've even got some maize and uh, we've got some wheat left as well. Um, that definitely um, enough to supply them. We're probably going to pop down an oat harvest, um, oat fields next. That's probably going to go on either ten or three. Um, I'd like to basically put those down. I am thinking a tri triticale, triticale. I can never pronounce the name of it. Um, the uh, the one that begins with T, the grain that begins with T. We'll probably put that down on five. Because uh, we've not actually supplied that or sorghum, actually. Uh, those are actually two we've not actually done. Um, I think we might do um, an entire round of uh, things we haven't see, um, planted yet on the next set of fields. So we've got uh, we've got oats, we've got sorghum, and we've got the last one I can't pronounce. Let's get all those down, and we will have lots of those to uh, harvest. And we've got three fields we can do that on. Do some big harvest on there. Um, and what I'm thinking on our field one is let's go for let's go for some we're not doing another root crop anyway. I don't think we're gonna do another root crop. I think we'll do um we'll do sunflower because we haven't actually done sunflowers as well. Let's do sunflowers on there. Um Let's do a sunflower harvest on field one. Wow, the road is very busy tonight. We've got uh, we've got three cars going along here, and we're going to overtake them all. Um, so tonight's episode is really about just getting the the new bakery up and running. Uh, so this is a, a new new venture for the town and uh it's essentially just moved into the area um the brewery is still going on and we will actually probably look to need to check on that actually to see what the status of the brewery is and how much grain they have um and we will probably need to uh, drop by them at some point and give them and drop them some more rye as i say some more barley and more wheat um at some point, I, I assume the, the brewery will be expanding. And now we have a supply of molasses. The brewery will have a useful supply of uh, molasses that they can use to make um, new ales with uh, some maybe darker ales, as you use, tend to use molasses for those dark beers. We also have potatoes, and I think... Uh, this could see a new venture opening up with a nice ready supply of potatoes for maybe a distillery. Um, something that could potentially use those to make vodka or other distilled drinks. Of course, you can make vodka with uh, grain as well. There are many great vodkas of this world which are made with uh, grain. As you can see, we've just started to get some um, bags of flour uh, being being generated at the uh, the new production line. Uh, as you can see, uh, there's just a few bags on there, um, but definitely got a few 
to to make so what we're going to do actually we're going to jump out of here and we're going to um, actually get into the dodge ram and basically head on up to the town with this and this is a nice speedy little vehicle so we can get there pretty quickly and um, we will use this to pick up uh, one of those pallets of flour that are sat on the uh, conveyor we'll just back in and just uh, un essentially load up and um, we will basically take that to the new bakery as you can see we're just passing the sugar uh, factory and the dairy um, as I weave erratically down the road uh, the shoe factory is producing um, molasses, um, essentially treacle, and we'll have probably our second load of that actually produced very soon. Um, that will basically then be for sort of fed into um, any uh, any production line that we can basically run that uh, will will suck that up. And I say that is that's something that's you know potentially of value to the brewery, and once they are aware that they uh, they have a ready local supply of the uh, the raw ingredient, they will snap it up and they will start producing something that will basically uh, make good use of it. So we are barreling down the uh, the road. We've gone past. Uh, Field six, which we uh, have um, pre previously just harvested, we're waiting on the the growth of that to um, have our next phase. We 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 play laid down nearly two million liters of silage yesterday. Um, so effective in the last well in the last. So we did that actually on a live stream. Actually, did we do that? Yes, I think we did that on a live stream. Um, or, or we at least started that off. We we definitely did a lot of um, a lot of grass um, at some point. Very recently, I kind of blocked it out because it was literally an insane amount of grass. So let's get this. We're going to drive on the grass here because we want to be close. Um, I kind of want to. We don't want to take the half full one. We just want to take the the full. Um, the uh, just want to take the full pallet actually. Hopefully, we can get off without. Um, Damn, we're going to have to, we are actually going to need some kind of handler to actually get that off. Um, and this is a quite an awkward position as well. Uh, let's, let's go, we're going to need one anyway for this site. So let's get ourselves a, a telehandler purchased, um, which we can use here. Um, actually, no, let's not get a telehandler, let's get a front loader. Um, where are they? Um, where are they? Where are they? The front loader. So let's get ourselves. We're going to get. I'm um, just actually just checking. Let's get ourselves one of these little Kramers. Um, they're a handy little vehicle and you know, they'll work in this confined space quite well. Um, let's get ourselves a pallet fork and get that bought. And Let's head on over to the uh, store and get in here. It's a tiny little uh, thing. These are such a cute little vehicle. Um, and they're perfect for this sort of use of uh, an outlying uh, location. They're kind of like a baby um, telehandler. Uh, they are literally like a baby telehandler. It's like this is the kind of vehicle you would get if a te two telehandlers had babies um it may sound very weird but really it is literally that it's one of those vehicles that, that you you can only see existing because two telehandlers had babies 
Um, so there we go. This is a baby telehandler. Um, it is literally just a cab with a fork um, and a tiny, tiny engine. But essentially, for what we want to do, this is going to be perfect. It's going to. It should be able to just lift the things off the. Uh, off the uh, the little dock there. I mean the the main production line is on the ground, so they're fairly easy to pick up. That's the kind of the rationale for them being in that location. Um, so they, you know they're literally just somewhere we can actually go in with the appropriate equipment and pick them up. Um, but essentially, what we have here is because we have one on the dock, as it were, already. Um, Hoping we can just sneak, sneak that on, and then we just hopefully the auto load on that is available to us, and we will just park him here, and then we'll get into our Dodge Ram. Uh, let's lock everything in, and let's head to there the the bakery. So here we have our bags of flour. Um, in the back of our Dodge Ram, the, uh, the new bakery um, is actually just outside the kind of main town area, and um, it's actually a reasonably large facility. It's taken up an entire uh, one of the, the the vacant lots around the the town. As you can see, the uh, brewery is is there, and uh, let's say we've passed the brewery. Um, the brewery's actually been renamed to Rockyard Brewery, uh, Rockyard Brewing Company. Um, this is a local brewing company. Um, so we have essentially had them take over and re and re and sort of rename the to their brand. Uh, they're still producing the same ales they used to, but they will be bringing in some new ones of their own so here we are we're coming up to the, the bakery as you can see it just there in the distance um, the side of the building um, let's whoa we are fairly barreling along uh, we can't miss the entrance it's a big gap in the wall there we go there's a the bakery uh, we pull in and here we are this is a new bakery and this is basically a new facility that's basically sort of opened up and whoa so let's go and try and unload this this is where we drop off our gray, our flour, and there we have it. They've just taken off bags of flour. Um, let's have a look and see what we need. Um, so this is uh, looks like a water tank. So at the moment, all they need, I believe, is flour and water. Yep, they just need flour and water. And we've basically just delivered four percent, so that's five thousand liters. So they're going to need a lot more flour, and they basically bring. Uh, produce bread from that so we're going to have to sort of bring them a lot more flour so one of those parts is essentially quite a small chunk four percent of their requirement um, so we're going to need a lot more of those pallets to basically get them fully operational so we're going to have to work hard that that uh, that, that fire mill is going to be working flat out for us for a few days, I think, till we get a full complement. What we will do is we will actually um, supply um, the fire mill with some grain on a regular basis over the next couple of days, as it were, and uh, next couple of essentially game days. And uh, we will basically get. Um, as much flour produced as we can. Um, once we've got a full complement, um, that is uh, sort of a six or eight, um, we'll be able to unload those into a 
a truck and take them down. Let's just take a quick look at our um, orchard up here and see how that's doing. Um, the orchard was basically stocked up with um, supplies the other day, and essentially, yep, yeah, it's doing quite well. It's got um, a halfway uh, full on the main production line. And that will basically get us, uh, what is it, I think it's about seven parts. Um, so, and that's essentially the same as the uh, the, the uh, Fly Mobile do as well. So we'll basically have seven pallets that we can unload when it's full. Um, so we just need to wait for that to sort of happen, as it were, make sure that the Fly Mobile is working to its maximum capacity. So there we have it um, we actually need um, so we delivered some wood to the second lumber yard yes um, whilst we were live streaming um, I got that up and running um, again that was pretty low on wood um, actually we actually really should get the first lumber yard let's just uh, get that up and running too that needs to get um, a lot more but what we're going to do whilst we're here is we're going to quickly check on the brewery and see what their status is and how much um, grain they need so they have been working away producing beer quite happily I guess because they are in the brewery and they have run out of barley and wheat so they are actually out so we are going to need to drop off more supplies so i think we'll actually need to bring a little convoy up of uh of grain so we need wheat and barley for these guys um so we probably will need to We'll definitely need to put a field of wheat down actually thinking about it um, at some point soon because we've only got 300,000 litres um, and if we drop 200,000 litres onto the brewery we'll be down to our last 100,000 litres um, and if they go through as much as I think they may um, we will definitely need more wheat so We've got a lot of things that we're going to be doing inputs for um, here. Let's just kind of just stop at the end of the exit here. And what we will do is we will um, bring the truck out and we'll run a little convoy down to the, uh, the farm. So these, this, this place is going to basically start working through everything. And as you can see, it's, it's, it's doing well. I mean, we'll just double check the thing. It's yeah, it's got 397,000 litres. It's definitely got plenty of grain, enough to basically get on with. Um, we're going to have it producing as much as possible of um, of the bags of flour. Um, I think we'll have the truck as the lead vehicle because the Dodge Ram is a lot quicker than the truck and um, we don't want the truck getting left behind so let's step the truck the dodge run behind us and let's get underway we'll uh, fill up two grain trucks and we can take that up to the brewery and we'll do that now um, essentially we are effectively doing a bit of hauling i think today is, is pretty much this episode um, we're going to be getting everything um, sort of going again. I think I do think we should probably check on the dairy as well. See how the dairy's doing. Um, the Savapa production line dairy will need the outputs moving off the uh, the pads because um, the uh, dairy stops producing as if um, the, the pads are full. Um, unlike the other dairy which has uh, pallet handling equipment um, the Savapa Agro um, dairies do not um, they basically fortunately um, do not have the ability to handle large volumes so they are a purely manual management um, 
set of, fun, of equipment. So we are all back at the farm. Uh, we will leave the Dodge Ram just by the entrance here. And then we'll drop him underneath the uh, thing. So we need barley, so we're going to grab some more barley and we're going to let that guy fill up. What we actually need is another grain truck. Um, we should have another one on the yard somewhere. Um, and we'll take that guy up with um, a bunch of wheat. Um, I'm hoping I didn't fill this up with the compost. So we'll take this guy up uh, once he's filled, filled, sorry, filled with wheat. We will kick off the, the well, we'll sort of refill the, the, uh, the brewery. Um, the brewery does actually need a water tender up there so we can fill with water. Um, so what we might actually do is acquire a new water truck and take that to the site. But we'll let, we'll do that off camera, I think, because um, in essence, um, actually, we'll do we'll buy that now, and we'll get one of the the man a frame um, vehicles um, because they're very versatile. Um, we can uh, reuse them for various things, but uh, but essentially they are a nice versatile vehicle. Um, they're not the big super tanker um, ones that we have, but they do have a good capacity on them. Plus, what they make, what they kind of lose out in capacity, they make for make up for effectively in speed, because they are very quick to load. Um, you can essentially fill them in, in a very short period of time. And uh, you, you, the time you lose with the lack of capacity, you gain back through uh, through speed. So our barley um, is essentially filling up nicely. Um, I'm actually going to put this guy on follow already. And what the reason for that is, I'm going to use this to sort of draw forward, stop, and then switch to. Um, so as we. And move this guy forward. He should literally creep underneath. So I have I have a little bit of a hiccup. Um, we will fill this guy up. We want wheat. He's actually been uh, driven still by the uh, the, the helper. Um, she'll she'll basically look after that load. We'll uh, watch the uh, the counter behind us. So it hits one hundred percent. We can move off. So what we'll do, as I say, we will probably. Um, load up these three fields with um, crops we've not sown for so oats will go on here and maybe one of the other two uh, or three um, and then basically we will drop something like sunflowers we do we might actually do wheat as one of these on these two fields it depends um, it depends on how quickly to be honest the the, the brewery gets through this supply of uh, wheat that we're going to deliver if it if it does seem that it's going to take um gonna last a couple of days then we won't necessarily need to do it straight away and we can wait but if um if they are literally burning through it as quickly as they did the last load that we dropped on them um then we might um want to uh um put down that wheat crop a little bit earlier it's going to take us a little time to actually prepare the fields because we've now got a few more fields. Um, field five is ready to plant, um, but one, two, one, ten, and uh, and three are far from ready. 
um, they they are what by all of them need to be kind of renewed and cultivated um, in some way before they can be uh, be used. So we are almost full. We have three percent to go. So once that's full, that is now full, and we can uh, hit the road, as it were. So we are now rolling. Um, we don't want to go too quickly, and we don't want the uh, either either truck really falling over. Um, potentially, that can happen when we've got such a heavy load. Um, the thing about a truck this heavy is that they actually do once they get up to speed um, they they seem to take a long time to, to slow down um, we have this problem when with with the, with the tractors um, the heavier they are they, they they're much harder to to stop um, I think when we were doing our little harvest yesterday I was having significant issues with my the Massey Ferguson that's pulling the crane trailer um, slowing down actually when it came to the silo um, because literally the weight of the the load um, 200,000 litre um, load essentially that was in the back of potatoes um, basically meant that uh, the braking distance was almost doubled so we're literally flying down here hopefully we will not encounter any traffic um, passing the BGA um, so we spent a lot of time in the BGA yesterday um, unloading grass and everything else we kind of aim to get more than a million liters of grass off that off the uh, field six we had it all fertilized for three levels um strangely enough we didn't actually get a higher yield than we do when we just do it twice so i think in future we will not be doing three levels of fertilization on that field i don't actually think there is a point really because of the um quite literally whoa we need to overrun a little bit but i needed to slow down um well we seem to have lost a truck where did our truck go okay we do seem to have lost our following truck i have no idea where he is um okay he seems to be stuck on the road why oh why is he stuck on the road he must have actually he must have been going down here so fast that they could not keep up okay that's interesting so let's take this guy last of the way so uh, follow me does have must have some limits to how fast you can go but we were going pretty quickly we weren't actually accelerating either and this is the weird thing we were going down that hill pretty much freewheeling um, it's the power of the um, the weight of these things so basically once you're up to up and running as we're discussing it's really hard to slow these guys down um, and basically we were literally freewheeling down that hill um, so we the helper essentially was actually pretty lucky didn't turn up flip over or or hit something um which is a good thing but um you know we definitely want to kind of sell you know, essentially drop this into the uh dairy so the, the uh, brewery so the truck is just there um i'm gonna take this one into the yard first I kind of parked him there because I was trying to get um thing but what we'll do is this guy's wheat so he needs to go in the middle I'll just park him over the uh, spot tipping point hopefully we have not missed the tipping point
Okay, we seem to miss the tipping point. To be fair, we had this issue when we first loaded up here. Um, <coughs> we had issues with the uh, the unload points here. Not quite. There we are. Yeah, we have to be kind of dead in the centre. So let's just grab, get out and head back to the other truck. We'll basically unload these and leave them unloading as we sign off. Um, but uh, yes, so in this episode... That's uh, so nice. Just ask me what you'd like me to do and I'll try my best to help. So, as we can see, uh, we're just unloading. Um, this episode, just to recap what we've been doing here, is we have got our new, um, our new bakery that's essentially coming to Cherry Hills. Um, we've delivered to the, the expanded um, flour mill he unloaded so he's taking 100k so we're actually, we're actually only, they're only taking 100k so um, that's actually unfortunate I thought they took more but anyway that's good um, they will get back up and running with that and the water we'll just leave those two vehicles there um, for the moment um, they've got it's got some water, but we'll need to get more um, from the, the vehicle. But essentially, uh, here we are at the, at the brewery. We've just unloaded um, a nice load of wheat and barley. These guys will basically chomp through that in no time, we hope. And they will be producing some nice beer for us. And we've sort of dropped uh we've investigated the new bakery we've kind of dropped off some grain for the, the flour mill so we can get that producing so we can get more flour to drop to, at the bakery so the bakery can get fully up and running once that's fully up and running they'll open up handling um uh, fruit to to make uh, other products uh, likewise we will the the brewery will be sort of opening up as well soon to accept other products that will be we will be supplying such as um, molasses from the the sugar factory um, so they can produce some sweet beers they may even do some fruit beers because we definitely have lots of fruit we have lots of cherries and you know there's a, various cherry beers out there um, so these guys may even venture out into fruit beers so with that um we shall uh call this episode to a close thank you for watching uh, if you enjoy if you enjoyed today's episode please um hit the like button um if you have any suggestions about uh jobs we can do around the farm for the next uh, few episodes please uh drop those into the comments they're more than welcome we'll look at those as they come in and uh see what we can do and uh, if you want to see more of the series please hit the subscribe button and with that um i bid you adieu and uh thank you very much for watching and goodbye <laughs>